Hi folks, it's Chef Kevin. It's New Year's Eve 2020, or soon to be 2020. And I'm gonna, going to be cooking lobster tonight. I want to show you how to kill a lobster. Now, let me give you a little story first. I grew up in Massachusetts where lobster was plentiful and inexpensive. So we used a fair amount of them. And I remember my father would boil a lobster and he would throw the lobster alive into a boiling pot of water. And I always thought that was kind of weird. I mean, you're taking a, a live animal and putting it in, in boiling water. Weird. But I didn't question it. But 50 years later, there seems to be a controversy. A lot of people, and there's two countries that ban the practice of putting a lobster directly into boiling water or steaming it alive. So, I'm going to show you how to dispatch or kill a lobster humanely and quickly. And this is important because you have to respect animals and respect food. Now, there's a lot of so-called scientists that say that lobsters don't have nerve sensors and they can't feel the, the temperature and this and that. Uh, other people think they do. I don't know. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and respect the animal. So this is how I'm going to do it. First of all, let's take a look at the lobster. This is the American lobster. There's several species of lobsters. This is the American lobster, also known as the Canadian lobster. And this is probably the most sought after lobster because of the huge amount of meat in the claws. So I'm going to pick it up and you can see it's alive because the claws are moving. You don't want to cook a lobster that's dead. There he is. Okay, now take a look at this setup that I have here. This is really this is really working out well for me. I have a sheet pan here that has a cutting board inside of it. It's the right size cutting board for the for the pan. Because when I when I cut into the lobster, there's going to be a fair amount of liquid that's going to come out. And you don't want that running all over your floors. Now you could put it on a, a towel, a kitchen towel, and then put that over a cutting board. But after like one or two lobsters, it's going to become soaked. So this is really the, the easiest way to do it. Now let's take a closer look at the lobster. If you take a look at it, there is a, a crease right behind the head. Sorry if that's a little hard to see. And there's a crease running right here. And what you do is you take a, a knife, a heavy bladed knife, make sure it's sharp, and you press it down right where the seam is, and then bring the knife forward at the same time. So here we go. You could see the, the fluids come out. It's quite a lot. 
The lobster may still be moving, but technically he's, he's not living, he's dead. So I'm going to take this beautiful creature, and I'm going to steam him next.